Queen Anne's County and the Department of Public Works are hard at work to make sure our county roads are always in the best condition. One way to keep the quality of our roads intact is through a process known as tar and chipping. This cost-effective method allows our roads to last longer while eliminating potholes and ensuring safety for all vehicles. Sometimes we take for granted the hard work our county employees must do to make our lives easier. So QAC TV stopped by one of the road crews and talked with Supervisor Marion Gerald. Our plan is we try to do each road in a five-year interval, if all possible. We measure our roads, we figure how much oil we need, how many pounds of stone goes to it, whether a road needs more oil, less oil, or heavier stone, or, or more stone to each road. The distributor guy, who brings the asphalt, he gets here at the end of the road, he starts, he distributes his asphalt. This is a Bearcat distributor truck. Primary function is to put the oil down on the ground in a computerized fashion. There's a computer up inside. It controls the rate of the asphalt going on the ground. You can shut these down in one foot increments. These come out, right? So these do the turns and they can do the side? Yes. This hitch goes to this stabilization bar we got right here. It hooks and locks to it. It locks automatic and release it from up there. You raise your bed up, run a little bit of stone. You got a dual conveyor here. Feeds it to the front, front hopper. These are manual gates here. You can open them. You'll watch down here, there's the gate. You can do them six inch intervals in the center or a foot in intervals. You, I can cut off, I can do six inches, a foot, 18 inches, 24. I can do all the way up to 12 foot. This air conveyors, this controls the right side and left side of the conveyors. You can do it with an automatic where it feeds it automatically from the back to the front. You can put it on front which is there are two, there's two little boxes up here. A man can up front can control the conveyors from up there, and you got the driver. The driver can do it himself, Okay. however he prefers. It has a swing seat in it. It goes from left to right. A lot of people prefer to be on the right side when they first start chipping a half a road so they can watch their edge because uh -huh. you leave a little, little edge of oil in the middle to go by when you come back Okay. so you have something to go by. Like you see here, this is the second side, so he's over here. He's making his mark cover up everything in the center. Right. That's why he's on the left side. This is a speed control. You can set it however you need it. This is your aggregate. It tells you how many pounds. To, and, and for the different size stones or sand, you can do sand with this too. Here's a hitch release. We just, all we do, when the trucks get empty, they lower the bed, you push the button, it automatically unhooks, and it's on to the next truck. This is a radar. Without this radar, your computer not going, is not going to register for you what to do. The radar runs off your wheel speed, your wheel speed feeds back to the radar, and it tells the computer how many feet per second you're going, how far you're going uh, yard-wise. It feeds everything. Without the radar, you're done. So we laid our tar, we went through, we did the chipping process. What's next? They're rolling. They're a Dynapack CP142s. They're a smooth, smooth rubber tire roller. They actually have water inside of them for weight. That keeps the bounce down. The less bounce you got, the more it would apply the stones to the oil. They, they roll it three, four times. Okay. Depends on the road. The County Roads Division maintains approximately 556 miles of roads and 32 bridges, so there's always plenty of work and maintenance to be done. So thank you to Marion for letting us come out and film and allowing us to show you how the roads crew ensure that our roads in Queen Anne's County are getting the service they need.